Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix low level fatal error would not decompress shader in Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater game. So if you are also coming through this error, then go through the steps one by one. So the first method is to restart your PC or Steam. Uh, this is an important step that is you should follow. So for that, go to Steam over here. Now click on Steam, then click on exit option. So after this, click on the windows icon over here and then click on power and then select restart so this will restart your system after that check if the error is resolved or not if not next is to update your graphics card so for that go to the search option over here search for device manager now go below and expand display adapters select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then again click on search automatically for drivers so this will tell if there is any update or will update the drivers and after that try to launch the game and check if the issue is resolved or not nvidia and amd users can easily get uh, the update as i have provided the link in the description just go through it and download the latest drivers and after that try to launch the game and check if this resolves the issue next is to run the game as administrator so for that go to steam uh, under library section select your game right click on it click on properties then uh, click on install files then go to the browse section this will take you to the game folder where it has been installed select your game right click on it click on properties now select compatibility and here click on run this program as an administrator and then hit on apply and ok after that try to launch the game if this doesn't resolve then click run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select windows 8 and after that hit on apply and ok and then try to launch the game and check if this resolves you can also click on disable full screen optimizations and then hit on apply and ok and after that try to launch the game and check if the issue is fixed or not next is to install the latest page patch or update your game so if there is any update available you can go to steam and check if there is any update available simply up click on update option and once the game is updated now try to play the game and check if the error is fixed or not Next is to verify integrity of game files. For that, go to Steam under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties, then click on install files and after that click on verify integrity of game files. So here after verifying the game files, now check if the issue is resolved or not. Next solution is to modify launch option. For that, again go to Steam, select your game, library section, then click on properties, then under general in the launch option you need to type minus DX11 and then check if the problem is resolved or not or else now type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and see if the issue is fixed or not next is to update windows so for that go to the search option over here search for check for updates and here you can see if there is any update available simply click on check for updates option and once uh, the windows is updated now try to launch the game and check if the problem is resolved or not if not next is to run command prompt so for that uh, in the search option search for command prompt and after that you have to copy and paste these command prompt one by one so simply copy them and paste it So after this, uh, check if the issue is resolved or not. If not, the next solution is to reinstall the game. So for that, go to the search, uh, go to the Steam under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on manage, then click on uninstall option, and once again click on uninstall. So this will re uninstall the game from your system. Once that, restart your PC, and after that, try to launch the game and check if this resolves the issue. If you still face the same error then it's time to take help from the support team so you should go to the support page that i provide link in the description and submit every details that is required hopefully the support team will then try to resolve the issue from their end so just copy this link and then paste it in your browser after opening it you need to select uh, in which you are playing either on playstation xbox or steam 
after that select your locations and uh, fill every details that is required and after that click on send so the support team will surely help to resolve the issue so that's all for now in this video thank you